nonsense soft metal football there's nothing in this town except for the fucking football <laughs> club <laughs> so another new dutch bald manager coming to the premier league for the first time arne slot so liverpool faced ipswich town who are again i think coming into the premier league after what 20 25 years under kieran mckenna so that was an interesting prop- proposition two new managers in the league what what do you think of the game ne- uh, neera what do you think i think arne slot is here and from the first look it seems like uh, he's tailor made for liverpool attitude wise also very direct in a press conferences very direct in like post match interviews looks like a guy who knows what he's talking about doesn't look like a vague person um, when it comes to the game i think he mentioned that the first half is something that he did not like a lot of patterns from previous manager a lot of uh, anxiety of the first game of the season so it wasn't really working for him but he said the second half was more or less what how he wants liverpool to play and the second half was when we we saw liverpool come to actually like uh, look good actually look uh, like they're gelling really well the new squad team wise i think uh, jota is really important for liverpool even though he missed like a really easy header he still was a threat and i feel like he's locked down that number 9 position luis diaz not so uh, clinical not so direct he was not as good as the other players but mo sala like yeah. probably the best premier league player of all time shouts for him i saw the stat that he scored what 300 goals in 365 appearances something like that which is like some absolutely bonkers numbers never seen a player so consistent doesn't matter what system he's playing in doesn't matter what team he's playing in he's just going to first game of the season he's going to come and score because they have these four players salah alisson van dijk and whoever whoever uh, they have from before uh, i feel like the structure is there the skeleton is there and new younger players are going to be added to this he still hasn't bought any player yet so uh, transfer yeah. still have to be done team still has to be shaped overall looking really good looking really sharp i i feel like they're going to uh, contend for the title do you do you think it's a easier succession that we've seen in other clubs where you know like after a big manager leaves and a new guy comes in because arnes lot has seems to have inherited a liverpool which is pretty balanced across the pitch and is that one of the reasons why they haven't bought a new player i know they were going after zubi mendy that didn't work out but i think uh, just liverpool's background staff whenever they're actually looking for a player they want a specific player and they don't go for backups usually only if it's a situation where there has to be they absolutely need someone to plug in that hole then they go for backups but um, yeah structure wise liverpool is like one of the best run clubs klopp left in a way that like the uh, another manager could come in and handle it wasn't a termination wasn't sacking it was a mutual decision so it makes it much easier i feel like arnes lord and klopp together must have had so many like talks about the squad about how he arnes lord wants to play and klopp's suggestions were there so overall a uh, smooth movement just like it was from brendan rodgers to klopp mm-hmm. uh, liverpool's always handled these things really well and i think they are going to make a huge signing soon because i feel like they just want to elevate the squad they just they they've plugged everything in i feel like they're going to make a huge signing soon and that's going to be the start of the squad this. midfield number 6 probably probably yeah, that's what they need yeah because they need trust endo that much so they're yeah. looking to get yeah. in some other player in that place yeah they probably they probably need a really good uh, uh, gravenberg is not you know the end mm-hmm. end goal here um if they get if they plug in with a really top quality number 6 i don't see how that team cannot win the title especially with the attack they have they have bonkers people in attack i thought sala is going to like regress not going to lie but just doesn't seem like he's ever he's just as hungry as he was like seasons ago yeah what about like uh, nihal coming to you right like i want to hear your thoughts on this new uh, ex united boy coming to the premier league if switched like to me it seemed that you know if switch did give a few troubles to liverpool at the start of the game at least in the first half before dying out but do you think they showed that they are ready for the premier league or is it too early to say i think the first half was decent uh, to be honest i think they outplayed uh, liverpool but that may be because of like Liverpool didn't play well. It's not like Ipswich played. I think I was reading one stat that like ten players that started for Ipswich never played in the Premier League before. Like all of them got promoted. Like then it's not a team that invested a lot of money. I think they didn't set him up for proper success to begin with. 
and he also like gave them a big vote of confidence by potentially rejecting bigger clubs right to stay at yeah. Ipswich game week 1 facing like a big gigantic club like Liverpool's always going to be hard i don't think we've learned anything from them this week it must be jitters to like imagine going in front of like you've not been in the premier league for 22 23 years coming back and none of the players know how to play in the premier league how like what the intensity is and playing a a club of Liverpool yeah. stature i think it's it's kind of hard Uh, it's too early to comment anything on Kieran McKenna because the game was all about Liverpool. First half Liverpool didn't play well. Second half they just like came and came to, came to party. In second half Ipswich didn't even look like they were going to touch Liverpool or scratch them to begin with. It was just nonsense, soft metal football. Like I was reading some football and this is not like hard rock. I don't even know what the how the analogy transpires to football terms, but uh, it's exciting for that fan base, right? Like every club. Would probably want to be in this dream scenario where you your a, a legendary manager leaves and someone comes in and like nothing changes in terms of performances. It looks like that because I don't think they lost in a pre-season game, right? So they are really high on confidence. And to Nirav's point, they spent zero dollars, right? And they have a lot of money to go and like dispose and spend. They're just waiting for the right move. I don't see why they can't finish in the top four. And if everything clicks, they could just go ahead and like. Sustain a title challenge too, right? This is not like an Ange's new ball that came. Mm. The problem with that was that like Tottenham didn't have the players to challenge for the title, but the core that Nirav mentioned, Trent, Allison, Van Dijk, and Salah, uh, and Jota and Luis Diaz too, right? Like it's not like they've not, never been in that situation. They are actually where in the place where they were title title contenders. Their last season, they were title contenders for 32 games. Of the I see. And they they have money, like because yeah. I say though the bid went. So yeah, they yeah. just haven't been able to spend. They probably have like a whole ass purse to to spend, and they're gonna spend. Players yeah. don't want to go there though. I don't know why. Maybe it's a city. Yeah, uh, one of our friends Abhinav went there and is like, there's nothing in this town except for the fucking football <laughs> club. <laughs> so, so and I totally believe him. It's a shit hole of a place. Like, <laughs> I mean, there's Beatles were born there. This is more, but still, yeah. how many of the Beatles are like, still alive? <laughs> Uh, two, <laughs> maybe <laughs> three. <laughs> if you believe in conspiracy theories, a fair enough. AJ, how's your second favorite football club, bro? Give us a synopsis. I mean, I, I'm, I'm always the biggest skeptic of every team when it comes to football, and I first personally feel like of everything uh, in in the world, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, especially United. But uh, I mean, even Liverpool, even Arsenal. I mean, we'll come to Arsenal later, but. Uh, Yeah, I mean it's great. Uh, everything that you said, echo all of those things. But I still feel like too early to predict. People, Premier League managers are super smart. It's not a little easy. One off day will not, you know, people will not let you go, you know, scot free if it's a single off day. And a few injuries to Salah or like some other people here and there. You never know what can happen. So Premier League managers take their time to figure your tactics out, and once they do, then it becomes harder to play the same version of the same tactics that you're doing right now. So. And plus, there is yeah. no marquee sex on the market. I don't. I mean, they might have the money, but they don't have the players that that they would want for the long term. So <clears> let's see how that goes. But promising signs, hundred percent, definitely nailed on top four. Yeah. What a weird league, no bro. Like one, every other manager wants to win, and the manager who won it four times in a row is like, I don't have the motivation. Like, what is happening? <laughs> Maybe I'll get it in the last month. I'm like, wanted to. That guy is like. Reached a level well, that where he can say anything. He wants bro. to win the most. He wants to win the most. He wakes up thinking about winning. Yeah. He wants yeah. to win at every moment. When he walks out of his room, also he wants to win. Every anything he does, he takes a shit. He wants to win. Sorry, I just like I just like. I I feel this is a lot of you know animosity coming towards Pep and City because of what he's done to you guys over the last two seasons. Like yeah, yeah. Obviously, wait, just not wait losing a point. You. Wait for it to happen to you. I mean, he also gave them Arteta not to be ungrateful, right? Maybe that's it his biggest work like that. you know masterstroke. Like he knew that Arteta will take them to second place. Anime, you then... you are muted. By the way, just saying. Also, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> what does yeah, the, no, what okay. does it mean he gave us Arteta? Like what a <laughs> Anyway, fuck that. Some Anyone. random dude sitting in like, uh, yeah. Aberdeen, Scotland, gave you S F. Like, what? <laughs> Doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, he was Arsenal captain. He could have gone there, started straight away, but you know. Pep, yeah, we would have. We should have signed. Thing. We should have signed yeah. Wenger immediately, right? <laughs> like right there, as soon I as Arteta retired. Bro, it happened anyway. He has to do anyways. something. He has to do something.